Howdy, how y'all doing? This is George of Phyllis Rambert. I'm hoping you guys are having a wonderful day. Here we are on Princess Cays for a day. Now Princess Cruise Line on their website has given an open invitation for cruisers to join them on exclusive port of call Princess Cays, where you can enjoy a private beach party on the island of Luther in the Bahamas. It spells out on that website that you can enjoy a complimentary beach barbecue, sip on some cool drinks, or browse shops and look at the local craft markets. And what you can do! Today we're going to look at this complimentary beach barbecue. So if you'd like, come join us for lunch! In the past, being on several other cruises with different cruise lines and enjoying different private island barbecues, well, this being my first cruise with Princess, I was expecting about the same level of barbecue as those other cruise lines. But on this Princess Cruise, we got a really basic barbecue that you may have given to your family on a weekend. Not that typical large barbecue that you get with other cruise lines. So my expectation was high. So here it goes. This is what we got. Here we are approaching the barbecue at Crazy Grill. There's a second one on the South Beach called Sea Breeze Grill. Buffet line number one. Good, how you doing? Oh, you want to be in it? Say hi. Hi, hola from Mexico. Welcome. Hola. <laughs> Como esta? Bien, y usted? Hola, enjoy. Thank you. Here at the barbecue at Crazy Grill, it is a full buffet, well, maybe not so full, but the food and some drinks are provided here at Princess K's. There were four buffet lines here and they all had limited offering. This buffet was more of a hamburger, hot dog, barbecue. Some ways it's a barbecue. It did not match up to maybe Disney's Castaway K or even Royal Caribbean's Coco K's private island buffet. At the end, you'll find some ranch dressing. You could make yourself a very simple salad. And when I say simple, I'm talking about really simple. There's no croutons or any other toppings than what you see here on these garnishes. There was only two sides, but nothing typical to a barbecue, such as potato salad, coleslaw, french fries, or even mac and cheese. It was sad. Nothing goes better with a hot dog or a hamburger than pasteurized processed cheese food. Mm. Chicken legs were cooked right, but very little seasoning. And for those pork chops, well, there has no seasoning at all on top of them. And if you notice, there is no chicken breast. How do you make yourself a chicken breast sandwich? What's not provided? Looks like pork chops right there. Okay, what do we got here? We got knockwurst, breadwurst, hot dog. What? Knockwurst, knockwurst, bratwurst, and hot dog. Oh, okay. What do you think? I'm going for it. Let's try one of those. I'll try that one, I'll try this one. Okay, that's good. I might, I might go get a hot dog too. If you're going to have bratwurst, you better have sauerkraut. But no sauerkraut. Also, no grilled onions. No grilled mushrooms, and I couldn't even find a bag of potato chips. You had some basic condiments such as mustard, ketchup, mayo, and even ranch dressing. But they were lacking some of the condiments you need for a basic barbecue, such as relish, barbecue sauce, hot sauce like Tabasco sauce or Cholula, or even fry sauce. Oh, by the way, they didn't have any french fries, so why would you need sauce for those? Dress up those buns to what you got and enjoy what you have. Now that pickle did not find a home. What is it, an almond, almond uh, Arnold Palmer, if you mix them? Uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> and there's lemon. There's sugar if you want to sweeten your tea. Okay. 
We drank a lot of lemonade while here on the island. It was easy to get to and actually tasted pretty good. In this heat, drinking up some lemonade kind of refreshes your body and soul. We had the soda package so we could run over to the bar and get as much soda pop as we wanted to drink. But it was just easier to come here and get a nice freshing lemonade. But if you wanted some type of alcohol drink or some type of fancy drink, you had to go to the bar. The dessert or bread table here more felt like leftovers from breakfast. Bran cookies, grain muffins, banana nut bread. Yeah, they'll work, but certainly a chocolate chip cookie would have been great or even ice cream like you'll get on Coco Key or Castaway K. The food that we did eat was really good and did fill us up. So it was adequate in that point of view. Though the brat was good and the hot dog was good, that not worse, it was soggy. Oh, the wonderful fruit. One of the highlights of Princess was their fruit. Always excellent. And on this island, they had a fruit bar. Throughout the whole day, you could get this freshly cut fruit. Watermelon, pineapple, honeydew melon, orange slices, and even whole apples. Though you needed to wait in line, it was worth the wait. Nothing says tropical more than pineapple. Yeah. They took away the really red stuff. We, our watermelon doesn't look as good as what they had just had. We missed that. Passing by the coconut bar, there were plenty of places to sit down and eat. Though when we got up to get our fruit, we lost our original seats, there were plenty more to find. This blue table looks nice. Yeah. Bon appetit. That red watermelon looked a lot better than this white watermelon. That bed tastes a lot better too. As we finish up our lunch and retop off our lemonades and give a good cheers for the wonderful day we've had so far, it's time to explore some more and see what Princess Kay's also has to offer. So off we go for a fun afternoon. Earlier during the day, the Princess staff, stacked with a bunch of food, went to Palm Grove and the North Beach and passed out these beach blanket wraps. We had a chicken Caesar wrap and a BLT wrap. They were really good and they hit the spot. As you might have noticed, this was no Castaway K Serenity Bay Grill. You know, the one that gives you special offerings like Cajun chicken, Cajun mahi mai, and even ribeye steaks. Or Coco K Skipper Grill, you know, with their famous jerk chicken, the one my daughter loves, barbecue pork ribs, shaved ribbed eye cheese steak, or even Cuban sandwiches. And both of these island grills have a plethora of side salads. And the Coco K Island, you know, it has a taco bar. This grill, the Princess Crazy Grill, wasn't so crazy. It was lackluster, and I was kind of mildly disappointed. Service was good, the food was right off the grill, but for being a premium cruise line, known for their food, not what I was expecting. They got cheap. I give this buffet two stars, whatever that means. But thank you for joining us for lunch. I hope you learned something about the Caribbean Princess Island Buffet. We did get full, plenty for us to eat. And if you'd like to do something for me and give me some kudos for these adventures, do me a favor, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and give me two thumbs up. Because this is George at Furnace Rambler, wanting some good barbecued ribs, signing off.